Hi guys, Roxanne here from Tiny Home Living. I, um, as usual, the curiosity is killing this cat. So today I'm going to make an omelet using all of the eggs I've gotten so far. I'm really curious to see um, the color of the yolks, what they're, uh, what they look like, and how they taste in an omelet. So we've waited so long for the hens to start producing eggs and to be able to use some eggs. So that's what I'm going to do today. I'm going to make up an omelet, um, and we'll have that for breakfast or lunch. And uh, before I get started, I just want to ask you to like and subscribe, hit that notification bell, and share this video with your family and friends. I hope you're enjoying the videos and uh, this journey with us and all the learning that we're doing. So let's get started for today. This one's interesting. It's the smallest and it's got dark speckles on it. There was another one that I thought was kind of speckled, that one under there. But I'm going to wash these. Apparently um, it's not good to wash them until you're going to use them because there's a coating on them that um, keeps them kind of fresh. So anyway, I'm going to get that done. I just thought I'd show you two. I think this is the biggest one and the littlest one. So, um, quite a big difference, and of course you can see even the big one is quite small. But um, some of them are a decent size. That one I think really is the biggest. Um, and this one was kind of funny because it's really long, like an oval. This one's, this little speckled one's definitely the tiniest. Um, there, there are a couple of hens in the boxes right now. So Chris thinks they are um, busy producing some more right now, so he's not going to disturb them. But I've got plenty here to make an omelet. And I saved some mushrooms from uh, supper last night, so I'm going to put uh, make a cheese and mushroom omelet. So I just thought uh, you might be interested in seeing what these fresh eggs look like once I crack them open. I think I'm going to crack a store-bought one uh, just to show the difference. Because I think there usually is quite a big difference. So I got these washed up. I thought you might want a reference. So there's a loony compared to the size of the two smallest eggs. And... Um, I'm gonna, there was one broken one in here that I didn't realize was broken. Uh, that was the one that was laid in the ground. Um, so it probably got stepped on or something. But anyway, I threw it out and I did crack it into the compost and the color of the yolk was just amazing. But anyway, there's a reference as far as size goes. And um, I'm gonna crack these into a bowl now. And there's a store-bought egg just to show you the difference in size. And I'm going to show you the difference in the yolks as well. So I'm going to start breaking the eggs. I've I found an amazing difference in the, um, oh my goodness, look at the color of that yolk. I find a huge difference in the, um, the shells to the store-bought ones. They break so easily. These you really have to smash them. Uh, to get them to break. Now that one's got a little blood clot on it, but I will um, pick those out. And uh, apparently that's just from the chicken pushing the egg out. And I remember what that was like too. So, oh my goodness, I can't believe the color of these yolks. But I also... <laughs> I'm amazed at how small the yolks are too. It's so funny. I mean, I don't know what size quail eggs are, but yeah, I'm really having to bang on. Now that was the smallest egg, and that was the yolk from it right there. So, <laughs> that is tiny. I mean, it's about the size of a nickel, you know? So... That's why I'm using all of these to make an omelette, because I mean, I knew they were going to be this tiny. Pretty funny. There's a funny long one. It's like a hot dog. Yeah, that's really funny. The 
Now, like I said, um, I will uh, pick out the, um, there's a little black thing there, piece of shell, um, the blood clot here I'll pick out, and, uh, but yeah, this is, this is pretty funny. That was that smallest egg, and um, just to give you a reference, I don't know if it's, no, I don't think it's even as big as a nickel. Um, Maybe if I put the nickel right down beside it. I think it's actually smaller than a nickel. But the color is absolutely amazing. Now I'm just going to break this um, store-bought egg into there, into the mix, to show the difference in the color. Because there's usually a pretty big difference. A lot of um, you know, store-bought eggs are in storage for so long. And, um, so there's the store-bought one. Again, huge compared to the others, but, uh, these are more like an orange, and that's like a pale yellow, and it's, it's like wrinkly. I don't know if you can see that in the camera, but, um, you know, the store-bought eggs are really quite old. They've been in storage for a long time before we buy them. And, um, when I was seeing a naturopath in Ontario, she wanted me to put a raw egg yolk in my smoothie and she said it was the lutein that was so um, important to our health so I think having these fresh eggs especially when doing keto and um, I converted my recipe that she gave me for a smoothie to uh, keto like I just substituted almond milk and some other things so I think having these fresh egg yolks will be really good and um, so I'm gonna get uh, those clots and stuff picked out and the shells, a couple of pieces of shells. Like I said, you really have to bang these um, fresh eggs to get the, the shells to break, which is another good sign. Um, the one, like I said, the ones in the store break so easily. So I'm going to um, use the, I've got some extra old cheese grated and some mushrooms cut up and some whipping cream to mix in with the um, eggs and uh, get this omelet. I'm hungry. I haven't eaten yet. <laughs> now I've got those picked out. Now another thing, um, if you've never had fresh eggs, you can see how the egg white is, like the store-bought ones, they're like water. Um, you can see, you can't even see where the egg white went from the store-bought one, but you can clearly see this thing is still in the egg white that came out of the shell with it. These ones I really had to, the other thing, um, I really had to poke at these uh, to even get the clot off them because the yolks are so much firmer. Like, I mean, you almost, you really have to work at breaking them. Whereas these, look at them, they just, they just turn to water. Um, when you, with a, with just barely touching them. These, you can see how firm the egg yolks are. I mean, you can throw these around over and over again. Oh, that one's got a bit of a clot underneath. But you can really toss them around before they break. So that's another big, big difference with um, the fresh eggs as opposed to the store-bought eggs. I guess I could have mixed the mushrooms in. I usually just sprinkle that stuff on top. I love asparagus omelets. And um, I will often just sprinkle the asparagus on top afterwards. Now after um, washing the eggs or handling the eggs, touching the eggs, um, I, I wash my hands really good with soap and water because you do have to be uh, really careful that way when it comes to fresh stuff. Um, the same thing when you're handling the chickens, you know, if you're picking up the chickens or petting them or anything like that, you have to be really careful um, about cleaning your hands afterwards. So there we go, I've got the omelet cooking. I might turn it up a little bit now that I've got the 
everything in the pan. I think this is going to be really good. I, I'm just amazed at the color. And like I said, I'm going to sprinkle some extra old cheese on top. And since it's almost noon, I guess this is going to be my lunch, not my breakfast. So, really happy. I will um, just get this cooked up and show you. And I guess get Chris to come in and have some too. Because he was really curious about um, what it was going to be like seeing the yolks and everything too. And of course, somebody else loves anything to do with eggs and cheese. So, big fan of omelettes too, aren't you, Tubby? <laughs> yep. So I flipped my omelette, I've got my cheese melting, and it's pretty much ready to eat. Chris is going to come in and have some too, since it's pretty much lunchtime. Sadie got to lick the plate that the cheese was on, so she's happy. Everybody's happy. <laughs> Time to eat. Well, like I suspected, the omelette is awesome. And, um, again, really happy with this. So, hopefully a lot more eggs coming soon. So somebody needs to go in the freezer. I just don't know who it is. My zucchini. And I like the squash, too. Nice one in there. There's some huge ones in here. That's a big one. Oh, that one's about 11 inches. I know. They're just massive. And then there's there. Two Looks like it's been pecked out a little. They're just coming out of here like a bouquet of zucchini. Especially now that, that I. picked on a little bit. Not much. <sighs> Devils. Oh, they did. They pecked the big one. Uh oh, oh. I need to know who's marked for death now. So we've picked some beets, some beans. There's peas underneath there. Might pick a couple of carrots just to see if um, any of the carrots are. Nope. Oh, I really messed that up, didn't I? Uh, oops. Oh, nope. That wasn't worth pulling. Okay, we'll leave the carrots for longer. Now that's a baby carrot. Mmm. Sadie will love that. Sadie loves carrots. <sighs> well, I think that is about it for today. We've got some beans, some peas. We've got some beans, some beets, some peas, and some chickens coming back in the garden. Oh. <sighs> But I think that's about it for us old people for today. Going to have to get that squash plant trimmed and do the tomatoes again. And i um, going to say goodnight. I uh, got three eggs out of the hen house today and there was one broken. So that was four today. Don't know how many under the sea container. Anyway, it's time to get uh, this stuff cleaned up get me cleaned up and it's going to be bedtime soon so anyway like and subscribe hit that notification bell and share this video with your family and friends and we'll see you next time